Okay, so where we were was the vertex angles 8x squared minus 18. And A, they say, is 30x minus 1. Which means P is also what? 30x minus 1. Okay. Make sense? So I'm going to take the 8x squared minus 18. I'm going to add to that 2 times 30x minus 1. And I'm going to set that equal to what? 180. Everybody good with that idea? Where does the plus 2 come from? Because there's two of them. You could write them separately if you want, if that's easier for you. I'm just trying to fit it on the page. Here. Can you see? Well, you can do it now, but yeah. So you can either write them separately and add them or just times them by two. So I'm, when I'm done combining all my like terms, I'm going to have 8x squared plus 60x minus 20 equals 180. Everybody good with that? I'm then going to bring the 180 over and I'm going to have 8x squared plus 60x. Minus 200 equals zero. And then going to pull out a four. Even though A is still not one, it at least makes my numbers smaller. And once you pull out a constant, because it's equal to zero, you can cross it out. Alright, so 2x squared plus 15x minus 15 equals 0. Alright, whether you use grouping, whether you use guess and check, whether you use slide and divide, you are eventually going to multiply 2 times 50 to figure out your numbers, which is 100. The numbers that go into 100 that have a difference of 15 are 20 and 5. Alright, now hopefully you went through this in your algebra experience. Everybody knows that that's got to be 2x and that's got to be x to multiply to be 2x squared. Okay? Now, 2 doesn't go into 5. 2 only goes into what? 20. How many times 2 go into 20? 10. So that's going to be over here. Alright? How many times does 10 go into 50? So the 5 goes over there. Again, if you need help with factoring, feel free to swing by at any point. Five divide, guess and check, whatever you do. All right, but that's how I know. The 15 is positive. That's why that's the positive. And then that's the negative. You factor any way you learn in Algebra 1. If you need help, feel free to swing by at the end of class, whatever it is. We'll go through whatever method you use and confirm that with you. But either way, you should come up with 2x minus 5 and x plus 10. What's the opposite of positive 10? Which means one of my solu algebraic solutions would be negative 10. What happens when I plug in negative 10 back into my base angle? What kind of measure do I get? Negative. Can I have a negative angle measure? Not right now. So negative 10 is extraneous. That leaves me with the opposite of negative 5, which is 5 divided by 2. All right, which you can either leave like that, right, is 2.5 or 2.5, whatever you want to come now to find the angle measures, I would then go back and what? Plug that in. Five and a half times 30 is 75. 75 minus 1 is 74. Which means the other base angle would be 74. 74 and 74 is 148. Subtract that from 180, you get 32. Or plug in the 2.5 into that one and check your one. So boom. Your quadratic slash system on the test on Wednesday will come from this section. I saw some time. All right, will come from this section. There'll be three proofs. Three proofs, one algebraic problem like this, and then a bunch of like short answer multiple choice. So maybe a bunch of multiple choice questions. Okay. All right, underneath it, find the measures of the angles in the following diagram. All right, so how many variables I got? Two. Two. Now, you're going to get this in the homework tonight. These are base angles, so they're congruent. 
If they're the same variable, do you need systems? No, because they'd be the same variable. Unfortunately, they're not the same variable. So we got to set up a system. Everybody good with that? Okay. So one of those systems is based upon the fact that those two angles are what? Congruent. All right. So 12x plus 8 plus 21y plus 1 equals 180 because those two angles form a what linear pair? And then like I just talked about, the congruent ones, 21y plus 1 equals 100 minus 4x. Is that showing knowledge? Right there. Absolutely. So if you do nothing else, you're going to get points for that. Yes, because you're showing bait, you're showing linear pairs add up to 180 and base angles are congruent. Now, you can use either elimination or substitution. It's up to you. Since nothing's equal to just one, I'm going to use elimination for this one. To do that, I'm going to get it in standard form, which means I'm going to get the variables on one side and the constants on the other. When I do that, I'm going to have 12x plus 21y equals 171. 12x plus 21y equals 171. Everybody good with that? Okay. The next one, I'm going to have 4x plus 21y equals the great one, 99. Everybody good with that? brought the 4x over, I put the 1 on the other side, and I got 4x plus 21y equals 99. I have two variables that are identical, which means I simply have to take either one of my equations and multiply by what? Negative 1. Which is either the same thing as subtract or the same thing as what? Flipping all your signs, however you perceive it. However you perceive it from your Algebra 1 days, 12x minus 4x is 8x. 21y minus 21y cancels out. 171 minus 99 is, oh, look how pretty, 72. How do you get rid of the multiplication by 8? Divide by 8, x equals 9. x equals 9. Good. And I can then take that X and plug it back in. If I plug it in here, 4 times 9 is 36. 100 minus 36 is 64. If I plug it into the exterior angle over there, 12 times 9 is 108. 108 plus 8 is 116. And then by linear pairs, 180 minus 116 is also... Does that confirm that I did it right? Or you can stop, plug back in and get Y, whatever you want to do. Move Dr. Locke. All right. So that.